Yeah. Honestly, I think he never has a better hand than I do. Um, that means I think I'm just gonna like raise it pretty big here and not fold. Actually, I will just jam here. I know like we jam 75 bigs effective versus him, but he might have pocket 8s or pocket 9s. That's like the only hands that he could occasionally have, and that's just unlikely. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that's both. Oh my god. Are we all in the first hand? Looks like it. Yeah, looks like it. Da fuck. Da fuck. So we don't bust the bounty in the first freaking hand. That would be slightly upsetting. Just slightly. I mean, we do cover him, right? So it's like an easy, easy jam here. Never. If we didn't cover him, I still think it's a jam, but then we could at least think about it. So he doesn't have ace-king or oh, aces or kings. Alright, come on. Come on. God. Oh. Why? <coughs> why do I have to why do we have to start the session this way? Oh my god. Down to 10 bigs. Not cool. This guy just open jams a huge amount of blinds. I'm gonna snap him off with ace queen. Because I have to believe that this is... Alright. Apparently it's a decent hand at least. But still, yeah. Easy call. Lose another flip. Alright. This is not the start to the session I nearly wa like wanted. And over here I'm gonna call. He folded. Come on, spades. Six is good enough to get it in. Not I'm excited about it, but a pair is good enough. Oh my god. Yes! Alright! Why would you do that, sir? It's a flip. Come on. Come back, guys. Come back. Let's go. 3k. Okay. Okay. You could go slightly smaller on sizing. I don't think it's necessary. Holy moly. What a flop for fours. What a flop for fours. He folded the river. Or did he call? He folded, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he folded. So let's hope somebody has ace deuce here. I hope he doesn't have ace 3 suited. I'm gonna bet turn again. This bet a little bigger. Just have like pocket deuces, man. Oh shit! Have ace 3! Come on! I mean, I want a better size in that he will still call with an ace. Like that. Let's hope he trapped us with aces 3. This is like kind of borderline. I'm not sure if you would call like ace eight suited versus that, you know? If you go like slightly small, I think you will always call, but you know, maybe a little greedy. I think it's fine. Would be so sick to get raised here, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> Paradise. <laughs> oh my god, pair of freaking dice. <laughs> and we give him a little bit of a tank. And then I move all in. And hope he just has a massive cooler like ace five here. We'll tank a little bit as well. Right, so we might think that we have East King when it's to jam. He just falls. He was bluffing. 43k. Come on, guys. This is a huge one. Oh my god. Good flop over here. Yes! Oh my god. He just jams the East King. We're up to 90k in this tournament. Insane jam on his end. Look at this. Look how deep we are. He just 4 bet ripped 120 big spam versus blind with ace king off. Ah, king was life as well, man. Damn, son. We had some outs. We didn't get it in there too bad. GG. Easy all in here. 45 bigs. Oh, flip Lero today in the 55 Typhoon, man. Getting it done. Which is obviously a little upsetting. Over here, I'm just gonna jam my King 3. Spy doesn't connect. Like, even if he has a really strong hand, we have, like, some clean outs. And now we just get sucked out on. Because it's Pokestars. 
But yeah, we're in a head. What's <laughs> that head with King High, you know? So I think with the batting range, like, we're doing pretty good. Like, even if he has, like, a pair, like, pocket eights there, we have, like, seven outs twice, you know? So we will see some folds as well. I think jamming is the best way to go about that hand. Holy moly, top set for us. Can't check it back. Only to see a fairly bad, fairly, fairly bad turn. <clears throat> Honey, I'm home. That's right. He leads into us. That's pretty weird. Gonna go with the car. Alright, let's hope he doesn't have 9-7. I mean, this is not a turn he should usually do too much leading on. Like, not at all. So I think his hand is actually usually pretty strong. Um, where he checks river? I'm just gonna bet. You could bet like 1400, hope he jams. Yeah, I don't think I... I think I like that. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Man, the big brain looks a lot crazy here. Oh, we cover him as well, guys. Like... Please tell me he's Brazilian or something. Russia, oh my god. He's done so much raising and crazy shit. Alright, I'm not gonna fold here ever. I feel like he should do a lot of checking on this turn. So many bets. I feel like it's less likely that he has aces through checks. I think if he would bet turn, he like he can still have like some bullshit like a6, you know, like um, it's just not too likely. He bet 600 blocker betting here, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure how direct was that. It's like a check, right? Oh, do I want to turn tens here or not? Like I don't really want to give him like the free equity here, right? Ah. Uh. It's a fairly good river. Be jams, man. Like, <laughs> I'm in a tough spot. Yeah, I think we just got called out. Ace King! Alright! Alright! I take it! Oh, baby. Call the race here, blind was blind. Just flop the flush. Not bad. Go start with the call. I'm just gonna call it down here, not that I'm like, excited when we get to the river, but it's the correct place, so let's do it. Oh god, are you fucking shitting me? How bad can a run out freaking be? Like, how bad? <laughs> That's sick. That is just sickening. Like, how bad can a freaking run out be? Like, not much worse than this, right? Uh. I have 10x and ace x to call here. The thing is like I have a lot of like king queen queen check with the spade type hand so I'm not sure if I'm doing a mistake if I fold this hand. That's the reason I'm thinking right now I'm no like could be close. Um, yeah I still think we should fold river here and call it with our ace x and 10x. I'm all in ace queen. Why can't I find your home game? Where? On 8 at 8? Next 8 at 8 home game gonna be on Saturday. Ooh that's an ambitious call. Gets punished for it, guys. Gets freaking punished for it. Thank you. 170k in the 10-year tournament. You also lose the queens. It's a good point. Didn't think of queens. Come on, Ace-10. Hold it in 109, please. Nice. Good pot there. Up to 90k again. <coughs> this guy's crazy. Let's get in 20 picks. Oh my god, what is this a huge 3 bet? No, he actually has it. How does he have it? Has it? 10. Oh! -hoo! Staying alive, guys. Running good. Vindamax run good? Is that a thing now? Man, crazy stuff going down. Big double up in the twister. Uh, Typhoon. This is easy 3 bet champ. Where's the button open, right? It's 9, 20 bigs. What the fuck? Oh my god, are you shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me, party poker? What? He folded here on the river. Come on. It's insane how many flips we won. We won four flips in this tournament so far. It's fucking madness, dude. Just really depends on the calling ranges, which are much different now. 
Oh, Mando over here gonna call 160 and try to bink that, baby. Bink! That's the freaking definition of bink, baby. Ho. Ho, ho, ho. Just gonna call it. Same position versus that guy. That's a solid river. We lose to 10-9 and 9-7. Not too likely. Let's hope he has queen check. Oh, check 5. Great river, man. Not sure what he was doing down <laughs> with that line, but I take those 10 bucks, dude. 12k, let's go. <coughs> this guy's been a little crazy. Sad to see better queen check here versus this button flat. I ain't folding here if you get raised. I assume you could afford to play them on your own. Was curious to know if you're covered by someone else. Nah, I'm like, I play like everything on my own. Like, sometimes I get staked into a tournament like that. I don't like to play these 215 on my own. Like, it's still like so much money. Like, if it's a million, it's different, you know, but like, doing the day, something like that, I know, it's still big for me. I'm gonna champ the river for value if he's like King 10 of clubs or diamonds. Fuck me. So I think we should go for value here and hope he has like, <clears throat> I don't know. King Queen, Queen 10, Queen 9. Any Queen, like, he's pretty loose. Some heroes as well. So let's go. Ah, he folds. He folds. Good pot that we, that we pick up again. Oh, baby. I'm all in here. 40 bigs. Easy jam with ace jack. He will open wide because of him. Like, he will still have, like, all, like any suited ace and all that shit. So ace jack, easy jam. Let's hope for the best, guys. <clears throat> oh, my God. Hold. Hold with CS10 for a bounty. Oh, my God. Win it all. Win it all! <laughs> Win it all! Double bounty! Nice! Nice! 100 bucks, guys, right there. Woo! Yes, guys, we're on the bubble here. Gonna champ 15 bigs with 8 6 off. Oh my god, right into Ace King. We have lost so much equity on the flop, not so much on the turn anymore. Ah. Uh, I think that's a good champ, man. Like, obviously, he will call Ace King, but like, we're on the bubble, he will call Tyler. It's gonna be a profitable champ with 8, eight 6 there for 15. For sure. Alright. This guy's pretty damn loose from what the stats I have on him. Meaning that I should be flatting this hand more often. Right. If I jam here, we'll see many, many folds, given that he opens work quite wide. Therefore, it makes much sense to trap with this hand versus this opponent. Like, versus a tight opponent, it makes more sense to jam, obviously. Maybe you see GL with a 3 bet. Um, obviously, would love to see that. Just folds. Alright, as I said, we're gonna call. Hope to see no ace on the flop. It's a pretty scary flop though. Just gonna be a check champ for me. I'll check race and then get it in. He checks it back. I'm just gonna lead the turn and hope he calls and then jam the river. I'm just gonna check and hope it goes check check. We get in with queens versus fives. <laughs> Just makes quads. And we get a full river here as well. Two pretty unfortunate spots here. I just don't think he will have enough bluffs. He could have like diamonds, but we even blocked the king of diamonds. So not a call for me. Unlucky. Yeah, I'm gonna call this. And then fold to these two guys and call the rest. Come on, five. It. Small part though, but yeah, gotta be called with the bounty on the line. Alright, up here it might be all ogre. Open the pocket eights. Well, not really all ogre, but it might be all ogre for lap cause. Because I ain't, I ain't folding. I'm calling. Come on, guys. Ooh, that's aggressive. Kinda feels pretty terrible that he gets rewarded for that one. Like, that is just such a terrible, terrible jam. Holy moly. Big lost. Big loss fast though. That's just how it works. Oh baby. Come on aces, hold it. Yes. Good one. 30k. Oh yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I think he never has a better hand than I do. Um, that means I think I'm just gonna like raise it pretty big here and not fold. Actually, I will just jam here. I know like we jam 75 bigs effective versus him, but he might have pocket 8s or pocket 9s. That's like the only hands that he could occasionally have, and that's just unlikely. Oh my god. <sighs> uh. 
Uh. Yo, thanks big Pokemon for the sub there. Gonna give you a proper shout out in just a second. That's what he is king first, then talk about the hand, then give you a shout out, man. But I appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Alright, come on. Come on. We lose this flip. Uh, at least we cashed. Well, cash going to the account there, 50 bucks or something. Alright, I'll talk about the hand in just a second, man. <laughs> first, we gotta play with the set here. Oh my god, I'm so upset, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm actually like so freaking upset right now. It's a close spot here, man. Like these guys weren't here. Got caught by his king. That's pretty sweet. I think I got a call sevens. Nice, we got that one. That's a big, big flip, man. That is a regal flip, man. I would have been <laughs> nice. We got that one at least. Really nice. Let's look at the spot here, guys, and I explain you, like, why I'm so freaking surprised that we actually run into something. I like to champ with sevens, honestly. Like, I think it's the correct play. Like, it sounds ridiculous that we champ like 75 picks, but it's only versus one guy. And like, the thing is, like, some people will trap here with like aces and kings. That's possible. All right. He's not the type of guy, right? So I, I will take this out of his range. Like he's not he will not be trapping in this spot. He might occasionally, but I think it's really, really unlikely. Bad play. Yeah, I know it's a bad play when you run into tens, guys. Okay, so please shut the fuck up, fish. Um only better hands call. Yeah, you don't understand poker, that's okay. So right? Let's say he doesn't have okay, he could be trapping occasionally. I think it's pretty unlikely given the player he is. But let's say he does that. Suck so this aside and think of all the other hands. 10s, 9s, 8s, is he really just flatting versus like an 18 big wide open? Why the fuck would you ever do that, right? Like, honestly just thought, and I still think that I don't really see people like... It's a good exploit. Yeah, I think it's, it's fucking great. I think it's a freaking great jam. It's just a, an absolutely sickening spot to run to 10s there when you have a great stack. So right, like... We, we expect him to be jamming 10s, 9s, 8s there on the spot, right? That leaves him with like a lot of pseudo broadways. Meaning, if I'm going to squeeze here and this guy has a good hand or something and he flats, then we will take a 3-ways. If I squeeze and he folds, this guy is still likely to do flat and then we play 7s out of position for a big pot. That's not something we want, right? So, I think jamming, honestly, is by far the best play and it's like super unlucky that he has 10s in that spot that he doesn't jam pre. Like, how am I supposed to uh, even like... like <laughs> Like, how, how, do you, how do you even expect someone to have tens in the spot, you know? Like, jamming pre is like so freaking profitable, and even I thought he would even do that, or like realize that, right? Same with this guy, like, we always have a better hand than this guy, obviously he might, like, he, he will just jam 8s, 9s, 10s, you know, aces, he will all just jam those. So he just has like, a bunch of, like, check 10 suited, 8 7 suited, you know, all these type of hands. So I think jamming is the best way. We could also raise up to 4k and then he rejams, and I'm like sitting there and I'm like, okay, we're always flipping here. We only lose to like 9s and 10s and he rejams now, right? So flipping at best for 50 bigs, yeah, you guys are just fucking idiots, right? Because like this guy is, I'm not talking about everyone, right? It's just like the guys that the way you talk about poker doesn't make any sense, right? So I think it's best to jam and it's just, I don't know, it seems weird to say like it's unfortunate, but it just doesn't like... How can I expect that, right? Like, my, my logic is like, makes so much sense in this point, I think. Like, if, okay, if he traps with aces, he calls us with aces, okay, I'm out, like, I would say, okay, he trapped with aces, didn't really expect that one at all, we got owned. But 10s, 9s, 8s, so these are just hands that he, like, even the fish champs pre here with the bounty on the line, like, from my experience, even a guy that, like, has a UTB PIP like he does over 18 hands, which is not a big sample. Um,. So yeah, I think it's just pretty damn unfortunate. It looks fucking retarded. But I'm pretty sure it's the it's right play there. To just jam versus, like in this spot, obviously, like versus regular things will be different again. But I think versus him, sevens, easy jam. Um, yeah, it's a pretty dirty finish, man. Like it's, <laughs> like it is, it is fucking dirty, dirty. Like it's painful as crazy. Um. But I'm pretty convinced that it's the correct play in this situation. 
Let's hope we can make some comebacks here. Interesting hands here. 4 5 looks pretty good on the flop. Yup. GG. Where's my fucking dildo, man? There's still some fucking room left in my fucking ass, dude. Fuck you, Pokestars. Fuck you, Pokestars. Some bits from Hazenberg. Oh my god. Don't really want to see the tank over call here. That's never good for us. Why is it so hard to not get tilted at poker today? Bob Lair on this one, two of the money. Nice. I'll just shut the stream down at this point, guys. I'm a little bit too pissed at myself, not gonna lie here. <laughs> a little too pissed at myself, man. Like, it's just a stupid mistake. I have too many tables open, and I'm already tilted as fuck. So I'm gonna listen to some nice music, relax, breathe. Should get a six or seven on the flop, I feel, on this drive we bought. Um, and yeah, and then be back on the weekend and do better. We gotta have a home game coming up on Saturday as well, so it's gonna be good. Some some stuff to give away. Um, just gonna shut it here down. Leave. Never come back. Go to bed. Cry and die. It's not that bad, I'm just kidding, okay? I'm just a little bit disappointed in myself that I was just still late register so many tournaments, even though I know it's a clear mistake for me. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoy the rest of your days, guys. I'm going to be back on the weekend in better shape. And hopefully the rest of the little bit more good. Shout out to my buddy Peacemaker for staking me in the 200 dollars 15 thread. It was a pretty crazy tournament there in the end, and the entire session afterwards was pretty weird, right? Like... I felt really disappointed after the hand, made some bad plays there, we had some sick hands afterwards, so it's a crazy highlight guys, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, if you did so, don't forget to sub, I'll catch you next time on the ferret maybe, cheer guys, take care.